it's a from a parent to a parent may may i have seen few videos where you spoke about your daughter this has been a big doubt as a father for me because uh, uh, growing up my father was very strict then i thought i have to be very friendly with my son like a, like a friend and then i have seen few kids who are really spoiled because their parents have been really friendly and then i think little bit of koncham strict undalam so there is a lot of confusion what what do you think according to ante neer obviously to each to their own but me drushtilo what is the right way of parenting to be like full freedom ah ledante koncham tough undala pillalto why should we think on these terms a child is not a you must understand this if a tiger is born let's say a tiger cub is born 90% of what he needs for his life is within himself only 10% parenting the tiger's parents mother and father do just a little 90% is intrinsic if he just eats well he becomes a good tiger this is all but now you are born as a human being your only 10% is within you of being human 90% has to be nurtured this is the significant thing about being human because the range of possibilities of how many varieties of human beings you can be within yourself is too many that is not so for any other creature they are born like that nature has fixed it like that little variations 10% variation between one tiger and another tiger if both of them eat well they are about the same tigers isn't it so because of this human parenting becomes an important aspect so once you bear a child it's a 20 year project that is if they do well if they don't do well it's a lifelong project <laughs> so you want them to do well so that you can be free yes because you understand if they if they don't do well they will sit on your lap for your rest of your life no no they must go so what do you have to give them you don't have to teach them the tricks of the world that they will learn some will learn easy some will learn the hard way it's okay they must learn it their way what you give them is what it means to be human being this is all you give them so for this you must look at yourself you don't have to do much with them if a child arrives in your house if your child is born in your home you should not think you have to do something with the child you must look at yourself because children don't listen to you whatever the nonsense you speak they not listening to you just like me they are I'm not listening to anybody. I just look at them and answer them. <laughs> They're just looking at you, observing every little thing that you do. How you sit, how you stand, how you speak, what is the expression on your face. All this they're doing. You see how the child is looking? Yeah. Yeah. He's not listening to you. He's looking. So you must become in such a way that when he looks at you, he wants to be like you. so being being a star in andhra pradesh telangana is fine that's a profession but you must become a star to your child child should think my father is a star not because you are popular in the world but he sees you as the best human being that he can think of because there is not much exposure for him there is a safety hmm. he is not seeing so many people he is just seeing mother father a few people yeah. among the few people that he sees he must look at you as you are the best man out here <laughs> if he sees that that's that's what i'm working on sir <laughs> if he sees that he will anyway go that way if he doesn't see you that way then he will look all over the place for some other kind of example yeah. today the examples that he sees are not necessarily at home or school or in the neighborhood 
They are somewhere in another part of the world. They may not even exist. I'm saying they may not even exist, but they're influencing him. So especially if his screen time has to go down, you must be really a superstar at home. You understand? Everyone. <laughs> yes. It's not just for uh, him, for every one of you, this is the only way your child wants to be who you are. He looks at you and thinks, oh, my father, hmm, <laughs> this is not what I want to be. <laughs> then you try as hard as you want, he will do everything that you don't like just to freak you. <laughs> yes, you've done it. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> Just to freak you, he will do something. Just in reaction, even if you're saying the best things, he is doing the opposite of it. Just in reaction. So this is very, very important. This is not about giving freedom, this is not about being strict. You just create an atmosphere where he's naturally looking up to you, he wants to be like you. In this, if you fix yourself, everything is fine, there's very little parenting to do. It's like, see, even the chicken, ducks, tigers, lions, all of them have done this. If they walk, see how the, all the little ones are walking behind, running behind them. They desperately want to be like their mother or father. Have you seen this? Your children should become like that. For that, you need to work on yourself, not on them. <laughs>